Miss Combos with Laura Nusev. Hello everyone and welcome back to Miss Combos with Laura Nusev. Today I'm going to be doing a tablet unboxing. I recently picked up the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE because I have ran out of storage on my iPad 9th generation, so I was trying to look for tablets and you know what, Samsung just gave me a bigger bang for my buck. It also has so much more storage, which is basically what I was looking for. So the tablet comes with a charging cable, a little pick if you want to insert an SD card, and also the pencil is included as well, which is very nice. We'll be setting this tablet up for playing rhythm games primarily, which I know shouldn't surprise anyone. And I do want to give a huge thank you to all of you because I was able to get this tablet a lot quicker than I thought I would because we got this channel monetized very quickly. So the very first thing I'm going to be doing to set this tablet up for my rhythm game purposes is applying a paper-like screen protector over the screen. I personally do not like playing on a glass screen and I found it much more comfortable to play on a matte screen protector so that's what I'm applying really quickly. If you guys would like to see a video where I go over all the accessories that I personally like to use for rhythm games that includes the gloves and things that you see me use on my streams please let me know in the comments and I will definitely record that video for you guys. So I quickly set up the tablet. I was very fascinated by the fact that the pencil is magnetic. And then the first thing that I wanted to do was install Sonolos to this tablet. So it's a lot easier to install on an Android tablet than it is on iOS. All I had to do was go to the Sonolos official website. I read through the instructions and then I just clicked on install, which is just a link that you click and it downloads the files and the app like that. Like there really wasn't any anything to fuss over, nothing. I just had to authorize the download and that was it. From there, you will have to add a custom server. You cannot just type project set guide to add it. You will need a URL to copy and paste into this bar. So the quickest thing to do is just simply Google Sonolos servers. You will get a Reddit post with all the servers available. You just copy and paste and then you click on next so you add the custom server and that is pretty much it now we have the project set guy custom server installed you will see that sonulos looks very different from project set guy yes you will see a lot of the songs that are available in the game there's also like full length versions as well but the configuration i will say is very confusing i know i just installed this so i'm still not super familiar with the app but there are a lot of things that you can mess around with not only do you have the Node speed and things that we're used to in Project Set Guy. But yeah, there's a long list of things you can mess around with, not only for the appearance of the notes, but there's also the UI that you can mess around with, and also several different kinds of offsets as well, which made it very confusing. If you're used to the gameplay on Project Sekai, you might find the gameplay on Sonolos a bit frustrating because not only is the touch sensitivity very different, also the offsets uh, a little a little too off for my liking but the biggest reason why i wanted to install sonolos was not to play the official project sekai charts because i obviously can just play project sekai for that i primarily wanted to play charts for songs that are not available in project sekai so for that you will need to install the custom sinvis server again just copy and paste the link then click next and then click next again to install this server and then from there you will have access to every single song in this server there is a search bar so you can search by Vocaloid maybe by Vocaloid producer you can search anything no there's not a chart for every single Vocaloid song so this does rely on just rhythm game and sonolos players to create charts and upload them to this custom server if you're used to the level of difficulties in Project Set Guy, I will say that the charts are all over the place in Sonolos. Some creators will use tags, like they will use Expert and Master, so you can easily figure out what level the song is. Others do not, so you're gonna have to do some experimenting, but that is Sonolos. I'm so happy I finally have that installed now. Now I'm just gonna add a case because I don't want to I don't want to damage my new tablet, so picked up the same exact case that I have on my iPad, and I'm going to decorate it with some stickers that I got from a lovely follower, Orion Season. I 
I met her at the Kikuo concert that I went to and she gifted me these stickers that are super cute. So now that I have this tablet available, what rhythm games would you like to see me stream or make content for in this channel? Please let me know because now I have so much storage to try other rhythm games, whether it be Rhythm Hive, uh, I can always start doing more End Stars videos as well. I think I will leave Project Sekai on my iPad, but any other rhythm game will live on this new Samsung tablet. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and I will be seeing you all in my next video. Bye!